the classroom is not the place for it. Um, so I got in trouble often, but uh, I, I still got my work done, still got my work done. But I learned how to, as I got older, as far as doing it, as far as when to do it in class and when not to do it in class. So I didn't get in trouble. Hmm. Nice. Was that um like your whole childhood growing up? Did you learn to like maybe not make as many jokes in class as you were older or? Uh, I would say that's probably the whole time. Mm -hmm. the whole, I have a twin brother too. And <laughs> teachers used to always say like, you know, it did we, it, we we night and day, like night and day, like he was quiet in class and I was more like had to be heard, had to yeah. be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you and your twin um identical? Uh uh fraternal. Oh dang, I was gonna ask if he ever got in trouble for like a joke or something you said. Um as far as with him. Mm-hmm. No, nah, no, nah, no, no. Hmm. Nice. Ooh, okay. So our next issue coming up is about family and fitness. Um, so I was wondering, would you gain 30 pounds for the movie role of your dreams? Um, and why? Uh yeah, I would do it. I would do it. Um that's a lot <laughs> to gain. Mm -hmm. Um I would have to put in that a uh, clause like afterwards. Um, need a personal trainer and all that. You know? Yeah, for sure. But I would do it because sometimes that's part of the art, mm -hmm. you know, to really capture who who it is that you're playing. So, yeah, I would definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, ooh, what was your biggest fear going into this industry um, before deciding, like, I want to be a comedian. This is what I want to do. Um. Not being funny, mm -hmm. <laughs> not 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 being in a sense. Um, like I said, my peers, all my high school, and, and you know, growing up, even my family and friends, everybody would say you're funny, you're funny, you're the funny guy. But getting on stage in front of strangers and people that don't know you, that's different. That's very different. And I learned that like my first three shows, like. Um, it's a it's a different kind of funny you have to be for an audience. So I, I learned that very mm -hmm. so it was it was that fear like not because my first show was very horrible. It was horrible. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, maybe I'm not as funny as I thought I was. Mm -hmm. And then I learned like, oh, well, you gotta learn how to be this kind of funny. You know, you know how to be funny with your family and friends, make them okay. laugh. Yeah, but being on stage is totally different. So I had to learn that. Yeah. Dang. How how long do you think it took you to overcome that that fear? Um ooh. with stand up, the build confidence, especially as a new comic, um, the more you hit the stage is gonna help. Um uh, even even now, because I even it, it's funny. A lot of comics don't like to come on stage with a piece of paper, but I tell comics when you're working on new stuff, um, bring your paper on stage. And you know, like if it's new material, especially in the beginning, I used to bring my paper on stage because you know, just that memorization until I remember my set and then I had to use the paper no more, I would bring it up just to build that confidence. And, um, I say that takes about six months to a year, but it also depends on how often you hit that stage within that time period. Yeah. How long is one of your sets normally when you're performing? Uh, Now I can do anywhere from a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I can do anywhere between feature and headline now. So it was just awesome. Yeah, oh my God, that is awesome. Um, just a final question. Um, do you have any advice or what's your best advice for someone who wants to break into this industry? Um, pursue comedy. Um, treat it like a business. Take it mm -hmm. serious. It's, it's, it's not a great night out with your family and friends. It's not, um, I didn't see so many guys like 
you, you have a great job, you know, you, you can smoke, you can drink. And I know you you dealing with a lot of females afterwards. And it's like, for me, it's none of that. <laughs> like, like it's strictly comedy. Like, I love comedy. I love. So become a student of it. Become a student of it and be in it just for comedy. Like the money's the money's going to come. The, the followers, the people going to come. Um, it's all that's gonna come. Just strictly become a student, and and never like not be a student of it. Like I don't care how long you've been doing it. I I've been doing it for a while, and I'm still a student. Like I love to still learn and read books about stand up comedy. Mm -hmm. Awesome, fantastic! Yay! Thank you so much, Marcus. I <laughs>